What's up, guys and girls? I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots, and, and together, together we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. <laughs> We're doing something we haven't done in a while. Going to some estate sales. And garage sales. Yeah. If there are any. On a Friday. On a Friday, yeah. Today is Friday. What's the date today? Today is Friday, October 23rd. 23rd. Getting close to Halloween. Eee, ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we go to garage sales and estate sales looking for mm -hmm. stuff that we can buy cheap and then flip online for a profit. It's how we actually got our start into reselling. It's the first ever YouTube video that we did too. Yeah. Going to garage sales. Yeah. And, we, and if you do it as a hobby, it's a great way to, you know, yeah. get some inventory. Yeah, or like boost your revenue to start getting into other things. It's and true. it's fun. It's a fun thing to do. It's my favorite part of reselling is like going out and picking. So yeah, today will be a day full of hopefully good buys. We'll see. I don't know how many estate sales or garage sales there are. I know. For anybody watching in the future, these are COVID times, right? So a lot of people True. aren't working. A lot of people are out of work right now. And it's also a Friday in our area. So obviously Fridays are not as good as Saturdays. Um, and there are less people out, but there's probably a lot more people out of work and reselling. So there might be more competition for all we know, you know? The cool thing about Fridays though, is that it's the first day in our area for estate sales. So if we stick more to estate sales, we should still find some cool stuff. Yeah. But you don't know until you get out there and try. So you gotta try. Let's go. This is not a thousand degrees out. So hutch. What would you call it? Book bookshelf? Yeah, I guess that's just a plain bookshelf. Yeah, I love them. Morning. Morning. Halloween books. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Allie, you see the little deviled egg ladybug. Oh my god. That's funny. That's hilarious. Is it so Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just have a Fireplace, or you can oh, cook on you it. Can cook on it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Back in the olden days. Yeah, exactly. this is awesome. oh, that's really cool. So the only real potential I saw at that one was the pair of Nike shoes they wanted twenty dollars for, and they're selling used for like forty. So huh. could have taken the time to talk them down, I guess, but I don't know. I wasn't into it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, there's some more estate sales down the road. So we're gonna go check those out. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Dance for me. Yes. Every time I see that, it just reminds me of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Gold and everything at the warehouse is gold, so I was trying to think. Oh, 
nice. Oh my god, I love it. Ten dollars. I feel like between five and fifteen dollars for a decanter is fair. Yeah, she might do less, but that's a cool. It's pretty. I really cool. like that one. Yeah. They hug each other. They hug. Mm -hmm. So cute. I love when they kiss or hug. That's like <laughs> so cute to me. So we picked up decanter for ourselves. <laughs> that was ten dollars. We have a nice little decanter collection coming along. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so that was $10. The handles, you got some handles? Yeah, for a dollar because I'm going to need some handles for some things. True. And they're gold, which is what I'm doing at the warehouse. Are they vintage? The oh, they yeah. They looked old. They're old. They're, nice. They look like they're from the 80s. Oh, cool. So yeah. those are only a dollar? Mm-hmm. There's six of them. Cool. And then I picked up three ink cartridges. 250-something XL. I don't know. Like they were 256 or something. I don't know. They were five dollars. <clears throat> Epson ink cartridges, five dollars for all three of them, and they should sell for like fifteen bucks a piece, I think. From what oh, I nice. Saw. Five dollars into probably forty, forty-five bucks. Just a quick update on these inks. I just took quick pictures of them and listed them on eBay, and they ended up selling for a best offer of fifty dollars. So they sold same day that I listed them. So what's funny is we actually came to this same garage sale, what, like a year ago? Yeah. Yeah, and we bought a blow mold and some audio equipment. So looks like he's got a bunch more blow molds. The blow mold. Oh, it's an orange. There's a Mickey. All the Santas. $20 a piece. Nutcracker. Oh. There's a glitter on these. Oh, come on. <laughs> I ain't got no hair and you come in with green? Not fair. That's totally fair. Oh, you call me a sucker. <laughs> look, babe. Thank you, sir. People, look. Oh, okay. Come on. Peace. This oh, Halloween's oh, coming. Get some. Ryan likes candy. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'll grab some on the way out. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the bell. Those are 50 cents a box. And those are LED. Those are lead. This is lead. What are you asking on these two? This is 200. This is 100. 200 and 100? Yeah. This works fine. Yeah, yeah. Just, I've had the 10, 8, 6, 3, <laughs> RP 1000, <laughs> RP 500. I got you. Yeah. I, got I just you. don't go out and play it much anymore at all. I got you. I'm more of this mode. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's my dad plays mostly acoustic too. Yeah. So, it was kind of sad because that garage sale had good stuff. Uh, the audio equipment was really good, but he wanted all the money for it. He wanted $300 for the two pieces, and I would have paid probably like half of that um, to sell it for 300 to make 100 bucks. But, you know, sometimes you got to walk away, and yeah. prices were too, just too much. Um, the blow molds were nice for personal, if you for wanted personal. them for yourself. Um, for us, we just didn't want to deal with them. Like, we still have the the Halloween blow mold that we bought Dracula. Yeah, which we should sell because it's worth like 150 bucks. <laughs> yeah, um, but we just know like if we buy a bunch of those things, they're just gonna sit at the warehouse, so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for garage sales. There's one more that we're gonna try to go hit, um, but right now we're charging the car and there's a Goodwill in the parking lot. So we're gonna charge the car up, go hit the Goodwill and see if we can find some more stuff. Yeah. So Allie went to her dad's house to like, she's working on a new project for our house. She's building like a, it's like a storage thing. It's like a store, it's like a storage brick. She bought like a kit from Ikea and then she's customizing it. Should come out pretty sweet. Nice. Um, but I'm back up at the warehouse. So all we got today was a pair of Nike shoes from the thrift store. They Looking are nice. free run fly knit. Yeah, really nice. $13 on those. A pair of Uggs. Ooh. Nicer pair. Paid $10. These are probably like a $40 pair. What size is that? Oh yeah, you did say you were looking for slippers, huh? I know. Huh? It's an eight. An eight. They're too big too for big. me. Too big for Callie. I have baby feet. Dude. 
And then besides that, just the decanter and the handles, the like antique handles, and then these inks. So the three inks. So these will go up on eBay. And then the other two things are for us. So now I'm up at the warehouse. Uh, Callie did shipping already today. And this lot, it's a t-shirt lot, vintage t-shirt lot. This sold to our good friends in Australia, Retro Rescuers. Oh, snap. They're really awesome. You should check them out. They're hilarious. They're yes. much, much funnier than us. But yeah, they bought this, uh, this vintage lot, so hopefully they enjoy it. I put a little extra one in there for them. So I'm going to lick it. You should lick it. <laughs> yeah, and then at the post office, there was this box too. This one says Rally Roots on it. Oh. Perfect. Nine piece measuring cup set. Oh. That's nice. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of smart. You like oh. measure it and then you can pour it out instead of like, it's got a spout on it. It's got a little lip. That's pretty cool. We'll actually use this. Thank you. I think there's one more box in the car. Let me go grab that quick. Okay. And then you figure out the cheapest way to ship this to Australia. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. What's it? 10 pound box? Just under 10, but. 10 pound box. Basically 10 pounds to go to Aussie, Aussie, Aussies. Aussie. Now I gotta put in their info. Ooh, you guys are lucky we like you. $97.47 to ship. Aye, aye, uh, aye. Uh, so come, expensive. Next time you pick it up. Yeah, come <laughs> visit us. So this one is a wholesale lot that I bought. Can you say that all again? I said, this one is a wholesale lot that I purchased. Don't yell at me. <laughs> you were just moving the box while you were talking, so I was like, I don't uh, know true. if it could hear him or not. I don't remember. Actually, let me find out how much I am into this stuff. Okay, so I'm into everything in this box for $775. Wozers. Let's see what we got. It's a little box for that amount of money. Right on top. That's a pretty cool... Deftones hoodie. Huh. Just trying to figure out what that said. You triple A tag. XL. Nice. Nice quality hoodie. Got an old Delta tag. Goo Goo Dolls. Wow. Cool. This is a 2002 tour. Ooh, I like that one. Scorpions. Wow. So this stuff came from a guy that we've dealt with before. He's a, a bins picker. So he goes to Goodwill Bins. He finds the stuff for like a dollar or two a piece, and then sometimes he'll flip it all to us in bulk. So we get a good deal. He gets a really good deal because he's only paying like a dollar or two a piece. So we all make money. Whoa. It's the Violet Femmes. This one's 1996. I only know one of their songs. It's a nice shirt. Dated. Licensed to Brockham on the Haynes heavyweight tag. Or sorry, on the Fruit of Loom heavyweight tag. Ooh. One of my favorite shirts. Oh wow, look at the fade on that. Good fade. We've had this one a few times. It's on the good all sport, size large, tag, single stitch, really good. This is definitely like a two, $250 t-shirt. Whoa. Yeah. Dang, they're finding these at the bins? Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder how long it took them to curate this box. I don't know, I don't know. That'd be interesting I to think know. just in certain places the bins are really good. Yeah. They might be giants. Dial. Ooh, little red hot chili peppers. Nice. Sweet. The back of this one's awesome. 2003 tour. Whoa. Zebra. Zebra? Like, Zebra? Zebra, 1983. Who's behind the tour? Cincinnati Jazz Festival. Is Aretha Franklin? Yeah. Oh, it is too. Wow. Patti LaBelle. Phil Collins, 94. Good tea on the Brockham tag. I like to show you guys the tag so you can see. Vintage tags. Oh, the Moody Blues. Oh. 1994, Moody Blues. Eminem Show. <gasps> it's blue. Pretty sweet. This like is 2002. That. Wow. Almost vintage. USA Thunder. It's the back. We've had this shirt, no? Tiger on the oh. front. These shirts are always so funny because they're, they're the most boxy shirts. Like it's a straight box. It is weird. It's almost like a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> They're always like that. All the Thunder shirts are like that. Oh. Do you get it? Hello, my name is No Effects. No Effects. No, no, no FX. FX. I got it. It took me a minute. 
98 tour, North American tour. There's another tag for you guys, Toltex tag. Cool. Haynes tag. That's an old looking Haynes tag. I don't think I've seen one like that. Movie. Michael Caine. Okay. Shock to the system. The Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code. 2006. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. Tina Turner. Whoa. Classic move. Old, old Nike sportswear tag. Rocking the Gators colors. What? I want that shirt. Oh, it's a Wendy's. That's so cool. Marathon shirt with the Nike hit on the sleeve, too. From Bowling Green, Kentucky. Wow. That's pretty cool. Daily News Wendy's Classic, Bowling Green. Fans Warped Tour shirt. Wow. Kick it. Cool. 2000 wrestling shirt. Too cool wrestling shirt. That's a very boxy tee as well. It is. It's a 2XL. It's another tag for you guys. Anvil. And then last but not least, Little Zeppelin? Fruit of the Loom, or not Fruit of the Loom. Liquid Blue? Liquid Blue. This is the 2000s tag. Let's see if this one's dated. The only date stamp on it is 1975, but because I know that that's a 2000s Liquid Blue tag, it's probably like early 2000s. I think that's gonna be it. It's Friday, ready to go home for the weekend, so hopefully you guys have a good weekend. If you can, if there's garage sales in your area, go check them out. Ours were not great today, but you know, still found a couple things. And, that's what it's all about, is going out and trying to find the treasure. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.